I just got her. Yeah. My son will wake up in the morning in his PJs first thing and he says to me, Mom, I'm gonna go let Moo out. So he will go outside and she just wheatly follows him right out of the fence. And then he'll run in one direction and she'll run with him. I'm gonna say, hey Moo. He can put his arm around her and he's giving her kisses and she'll kind of take her head and nuzzle up to him. They're cute little buddies. At first, we were very nervous. I have always wanted an emu. It's been one of my dream pets. Hey, emu. I have a friend, and I saw that she had an emu. And I just told her, I said, I love your emu. So she actually told me that I could have her emu because they had hatched her, but they didn't have a, enough space for her. So I called my mom and I said, hey, will you bring me an emu when you come visit next time? And she was happy to do it. My mom pulls up. Of course, we're all very excited, but also nervous. I've never handled an emu. We had a fenced in area in my backyard ready for her, some food, some treats. <laughs> she so far loves my jewelry. She adjusted very quickly. It only took her about a couple weeks to start showing more and more of her personality. She had been around children and she'd also been around horses, dogs, chickens. So she was fairly acclimated to farm life. Thank you, Moo. Help daddy. <laughs> She's kind of my right hand man and gets to do all the chores with me. And she kind of herds all of our dogs and tells them where she wants everybody to be. She's very curious, but she is not the smartest. Emus are also very spookable. She will all of a sudden just jump in the air. This is not gonna do anything to you. And then it's like, turns back and it's like, oh, all's fine. So safety wise, I've taught the kids a lot of just respecting her boundaries. She loves my son the most. They have the sweetest bond. It's the cutest relationship. And I'm always around with Moo, but she's never hurt anyone. She's my favorite farm animal by far. Come here, Boo. You do, but watching my kids get to be around Moo and all of our other farm animals, it is such a blessing. If you are rescuing or thinking of adopting an exotic animal, please make sure to contact professionals and do your research so that they can have the best life possible.